Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you are well Today we will talk about a man who traveled 100 years into the future Prophet Uzair alayhi salam He was a wise and pious worshipper He had learned and memorized the Torah and was preaching the Torah to the people of Israel of his time which was after Musa alayhi salam One day Uzair alayhi salam was crossing a village Baitul Muqaddas which was completely destroyed and ruined as it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who set the example of Bani Israel for its disobedience and placed the tyrant king Bakhnast as the ruler of the land who wasted no time in slaying the Bani Israel people and demolished the city while Uzair alayhi salam arrived in the city he could say nothing in his surprise to find the once beautiful and vibrant city in this state but wondered how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring this city back to life again He had no doubt in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's capability simply thought about it out loud which is mentioned in the Quran Uzair alayhi salam was traveling on a donkey and had a bowl of fruits in his possession He then proceeded to a tree tied his animal to it and ate some fruits that is grapes and dates and fell asleep at which time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seized his soul and also took the life of his donkey Meanwhile a Persian king became the ruler after 70 years and brought his army to this area this drew the people back to civilization in the ruined city and became populated once again throughout this Uzair alayhi salam eyes were closed and after 100 years Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returned the soul to his body first his eyes then the rest of him subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel in the form of a man to question the prophet on How long did he sleep seeing that it was evening and knowing that he slept in the morning the prophet replied not more than a day or half the angel informed Uzair alayhi salam that he has been sleeping for a century that is 100 years and that he should look at his animal and provisions when Uzair alayhi salam did he saw the fruits were intact as how he had left it but his donkey was completely decayed and only his bones were remaining the prophet was stunned after the revelation allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrected the donkey piece by piece in its original form brought it back to life before the eyes of uzair alayhi salam who witnessing the power of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proclaimed i know very well that allah is powerful over everything Since Uzair alayhi salam was alive and at the same age of 40 again he visited the same village which was once again beautiful and lively he went to his house and noticed a blind and disabled woman who was an acquaintance of his before his disappearance sitting on his steps he approached her and asked her about him and she replied that he has been dead for 100 years The prophet narrated his story to her and she replied him that if he was saying the truth about himself then he shall pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring her sight back as no prayers of Uzair alayhi salam would go unanswered after doing so when the woman received her sight and in addition her disability was also gone now she was truly sure that the man before her is indeed Uzair alayhi salam she welcomed him in the house where his son who was now 118 years old and grandchildren were sitting when the lady announced his arrival to his son who asked the prophet that their father consisted a mole between his shoulders hearing this hazrat uzair alayhi salam opened his shirt and showed him the sign he was looking for later on the entire city believed that the uzair alayhi salam was indeed brought back to life by almighty who then once again started preaching the tawra Since then the people considered him to be the son of Allah but it was Uzair alayhi salam who told them that he is a prophet sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they believed him to be a time traveler you all must be wondering what time travel and how is it relevant in this story time travel is a concept of moving between certain point of time to different point in space by an object or person there are two main variables that alter the speed of time that is gravity and speed looking at this story from the perspective of relativity theory one can notice that uzair alayhi salam and the objects mentioned here remain spatially confined while time moves on when he reawakened after 100 years he noticed that his food remained unharmed whereas a donkey had reduced to bone almost fossilized time had moved differently for each subject the person food and his ride 
A scientific explanation of the event would yield the conclusion that each of them was perhaps bubbled inside spare gravitational fields. The magnitude of gravitational force for the food article being the highest greatly reduced the speed of its march forward in time. To come to a conclusion that for the people of the city where he rose, after 100 years, he was a time traveler who came from the past. Even normal people in normal condition feel that they have slept for a short time after taking really long naps. Same as Uzair alayhi salam when he woke from his slumber. So brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power over all things and he can bring the dead back to life as when he commands or wishes. These incidents of the power of the Almighty Allah has been our guidance which are mentioned in the holy book of Quran as a sign for the people. In a day, many thoughts enter our minds. Sometimes these are whisperings of shaitan instilling doubt and fear in our hearts. If a person turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling upon him and asking for guidance and help then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the heart. He will show us the reality of things so ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our hearts from deviation and doubts and to always guide us to the path of truth. Ameen. Brothers and sisters, if you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends and family. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.